Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this one, man, we're going to be looking at the top 10 champions that you need to look out for when you're using bombs in arena. Right? So here's an example. Look at the first two fights here. Is Siffy, Duchess, block debuffs. Um, here you don't have to worry about it. Here you don't have to have worry about it. Here you don't have to worry about it. Here you don't worry. You don't have to worry any about any any of these teams. None of these. They basically work the way we want. So these two first teams, you got to be careful. So I'm gonna show, since you know everyone's kind of like on the bomb train. Choo -choo. <laughs> uh, we're gonna look at the first champion. It's going to be uh, Blind Seer. So why do you have to be careful for Blind Seer? Well, this is gonna be a very reoccurring trend. Um, but the A2 Dark Shroud places a block debuffs for two turns on all allies and then puts a shield. Uh, so be careful for the shield and be careful for the block damage uh, that she revives everybody and puts block damage on them. That can be pretty annoying. Uh, the second one's going to be Cardiel. Not Cardinal, Cardiel. Very, very powerful uh, support champion. He's got not only an alley attack on the A3, which is pretty nuts, because it keeps re resetting its cooldown. And then he also has this, which removes his... He's not only a cleanser, he's also a block debuffs and a revive on death buff champion. And the revive on death cannot be removed. You can still block revive those enemies if you have a block revive skill, either AoE or single target. But um, it's still pretty annoying. The next one's going to be... Uh, I think we all know this champion, right? By now. <laughs> Let me move myself a little bit. It's going to be Duchess... Duchess Lilitu. Lilitu? <laughs> we got uh, Shroud of Souls here. Uh, Shroud of Souls. Places a block debuffs buff. And a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. Then she puts a perfect veil on all of them as well. So they take 15% less damage because of the perfect veil. And then on top of that, they're taking another 5, uh, 25%, which is pretty nuts, dude. It's a lot of damage reduction. Uh, so you have to be careful for this skill. And then this skill, you don't have to worry because she brings it back and they all kind of die anyways. Um... Because you might be like, oh, it's 70%, they can still survive, but... Yeah. Bombs are not AoE, so it doesn't help uh, at all. That's the great thing about bombs, they're not AoE. Uh, the next one you gotta be careful for um, is going to be actually in the same faction, I didn't even realize. Is uh, Glacea. Glacea Soul Guide. She's pretty um, new, so you don't see her too much. From time to time, you do. Uh, you have to be careful for her A3. It puts a place, places a block debuffs buff on all allies for two turns, and then she freezes you, and then fills her turn meter for each um, freeze debuff. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I just noticed too it places, so she she could do this no matter of weak affinity or not, right? It's pretty crazy. Huh. The next one's gonna be. The OG, old school, go second, you know, cleanser, Hackhorn Smash Lord. His A2 not only cleanses Rallying Beller, but it also, below, I guess, uh, then places a block debuffs for two turns, and then heals them as well. So it's a nuts ability, okay? You don't want that to go off when you're using bombs. Uh, the next one's going to be... Minaya, but Minaya does like she's so conditional. She has to have the increased defense for her to put the block debuffs on everyone. So the good thing is that she's very conditional and it's not gonna really affect you too much. Another one that you might see in Arena on defense is Riho Bone Spear. She of course is a cleanser and a block debuff. So some of these champions you can just bring in like a madam, strip them, put the bombs, they're dead. Some of them you have to be careful because you have to time it, you know, 
But normally, most of the time, on defense, they'll either use this skill or this skill. So you have to see what's going on on their um, on their team presets. The next one's going to be Siffy the Lost Bride, the most common OP champ in defense uh, that you'll see, right? Because she has the place of, do uh, place of block debuffs buff on all allies for two turns, then fills people's turn meter on allies by 10%, and places increased defense, increased speed. Now, bombs ignore all of that except for the block debuffs, right? So if you can remove that, you're pretty much set. Next one's going to be uh, Tatura. <clears throat> now, Tatura, you don't really see that much Tatura in defense, or I don't see it a lot. I felt like I was seeing Tatura a lot more in the beginning, like right when Tatura, you know, around December, maybe early January, I was seeing a little bit more Taturas in defense. People probably realized it's a little bit better. It's not bad, but it's not that great either. Uh, if, if that's all you have, that's fine. But I'm just saying, be careful. This champion can do it on a three turn uh, block debuffs as well. Uh, three turn cooldown, two turns, the buff last. Uh, another most very popular champion and very strong champion on defense, arena defense, is Under Priest Brogni. Not only does he put block debuffs for two turns, he puts a shield as well that cannot be removed. <laughs> wow, right? So, and it's uh, equal to 30% of this, uh, his HP, max HP. And the last one on the list here, another popular defensive champion, Warlord. So Warlord has the place of block debuffs only for one turn, but dang, that shield he puts for 30% is huge. And then he heals everybody as well. It's pretty nuts on a three turn. He doesn't even need the block debuffs for two turns. Then of course he has this other OP skill. But here's the crazy thing is, most of the time when you're against Warlords, they're gonna use Orcish Rituals. They won't use this. If, they, if their team is designed to use this and not this, you, in, you, you have to be like, you concede. But if they use this, it don't matter if Warlord uses the A3. You still win. Because all your skills are passive. This only turns off your, a, your A2, your A3s, your A4s. That's it. It doesn't turn off passive at all. So bombs right now are mainly passives if you want to use like lord shajar or war mother or any other champion yes you can but you have to go first or not go against warlord or basher but uh but yeah thank you raiders for looking uh watching this short video i just wanted to release out some champions to show you what to look out for when you're going uh and actually you know what let, let, me, let me go fight the fight just to show you as an example right this is the um, this is a comp known as Blockanol, right? Because it it's has block. So this is kind of weird here. I'm just gonna a one because I want to bring them all back and have full turn meter. Let the we'll let the ninja go. I don't know why he's so slow. Oh my gosh. Who puts... <laughs> Who puts Ninja to, to not use his team presets? Like, help me, please. What's going on here, dude? Just AOE me, please. Thank you. Sheesh. And now we're gonna get... We're, now we're because the Ninja is so crazy. We're actually gonna get frozen here. And probably not be able to use the eighth. Oh, no, I have high resistance. Let's go. Oh, I got put to sleep. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yes. Okay, can I res now? Quick. Sweet. So we bring everybody back. So she, let's see, let's pretend she had the block debuffs on everybody. She has it only on, on the other team, but you remove it all. 
and you just go ham on the main person. Now, if you block the main damage dealer, which he's so slow, he's not even, he doesn't even feel like a threat. But I'm just going to go for the Siffy here. And then there you go. If they don't get, um, you know, block the, you put the, the bombs afterwards, right? If they're still, if they're still alive, you put them to sleep with the Gaius to wake up and boom, it's over. Basically, guys didn't do nothing there, so. Um, but that's that's how you, you you counter that team. Could I counter this team? Easy. Uh, we're strong affinity against both of them. Magic. Yeah, exactly. It's block and all. Once again, will beat this team easy. Uh, it's very high defensive team, so you don't need the cardinal in this situation. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Because they're not going to kill us to bring us back. So you can actually do some weird shenanigans here where you go first with Arbiter. Then you strip. Then you kill them. And you might be like, well, why not go like this? Yeah, I could. But I don't need the extra speed at all. And you're right. Let's put the champions in a different position. And there you go. But if you, you don't want the extra attack and you want, you know, you would, it would look like, it'd look like more like this. But I'm going to go with the extra attack, so. So we'd boost. Typical go first team, I know. But we're adding a little bit more flavor. So, see what happened there? She put the block debuffs because we got stripped. I mean, uh, because she, our champions don't have, like, in, enough speed. The Duchess speed plus my... So, double booster comp would have easily done this, but... The great thing is here, we're very st we're still strong affinity here, and we can uh, still um, we can still come back from this. So we didn't even need once again we didn't even need the bombs, but this is why you got to be careful when you're um, speed tuning. I don't really use. I guess you could argue you would have probably cut in if you put the arbiter first. True, true. But I wanted the extra damage. Maybe Foley would have not killed them all, especially with the with the Vogoth there, right? That's why I did it like that. So you can counter so many teams. I mean, they had the Seeker. They had the Seeker in the second position, which is smart. But they put the Vogoth in the third position. You got to put the Vogoth at the last position. But whatever, you know, people still learning. Um, but anyways. Thank you, Raiders. I just wanted to create a video showing you guys how, what to look out for when using bomb champions, how to strategize against them, because people are like, Haha, it's it's a troll team. It's not really something to plat. Well, guess what? I'm going to start pushing plat soon. So thank you. I'm going to be pumping out more videos. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Raiders.